So my, my, uh, my uh, retort to that would be, I'm a human being. I have feelings. I feel, I, or at least I think I do. I think I feel things on maybe a metaphysical level, some things, or have some strict, some intuitions um, that are kind of beyond myself, right? I, I think that. I talk to a lot of people that are intuitive. Can we move it to uh, something that we both understand better, which is poker? If someone, yeah. if someone, if someone now, there's two kinds of feelings. You know, there's feelings that are kind of like, why did you do that? You know, Phil Ivey might say he just felt it and all that, or you might say like he yeah. felt it. But like, if we if we ask the right questions, there would be reasons for that, you know, and and the feelings right. would be on some sort of logic, and it would be played out. Sure, that's a really good point. Yeah, that's a really good point. But you could say that with anything. Like, I, I get feelings about people, yeah. you know, and it's like I just felt like this guy, like he was like shady for some reason. You know, if you had to keep asking me the questions, yeah. I could probably tell you. Why? You know, like he, the way he looked at this certain thing, he, he, he looked, he put his eyes down when I asked him this question. Yeah. That's interesting. But I, I, I feel as though I may be feeling something though too. Well, like in almost like, almost like physically, like physically that's like actually going on about something. Where I was going was like, okay, so mm -hmm. now imagine like Dip Thrung or Phil Ivey oh. has these feelings. Then like we respect those feelings because they're based on logic. Now imagine the person watching, the, I remember when I watched, when I first watched TV with Brown Doug on WSOP, um, the guy before Moneymaker who won it. Uh, Robert Varconi. Robert Varconi. He goes, he, I guess he won the tournament with Queen 10. So Queen 10 was his favorite hand. Yeah. So I, my favorite hand became Queen 10 because I watched, you know, uh, and Brown Doug goes like, Queen 10 is not your favorite hand. Queen 10 a shit hand, whatever, whatever he went on to say. Um, when I was watching there, I had a feeling that Queen 10 was a bit great hand based on, not based on study or anything, based on my feelings, which were based on Robert Racconi saying that. But the point is my feelings were not, were nothing. My feelings were like nothing to respect because they were, they were so, they were so, they were formed on a basis of ignorance rather than on a basis of knowledge. That's um, amazing. That is, this is brilliant. I love this. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> So yeah, so I mean, I, 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 you know, I don't know. I mean, so yeah, so I like, I, I question whether even like, like, a, like, like, do you, do you have feelings about, about other, like, do you have feelings about physics that you would trust? Like, is it only <laughs> religion and faith that feelings become uh, <laughs> applicable? Like, m maybe it is though. Maybe, maybe those kind of things are by definition. Like, Jewish religion says there's a soul. The soul is not measurable a soul that you can you can take a a scan you don't see a soul according to jewish rule yeah i mean I, right. I find it hard to i you know i find it hard to like embrace these kind of ideas but um the idea that there's things that we don't like even if you go back 100 years of course there's things we know today that were invisible back then or that the best scientists would not have known right. so right you know, i, I I think we're like not very close to knowing that. Right, but I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you some pushback. I don't know I don't know how this is even gonna sound. So so I, I think that shit that you said was like really I'm like really hearing you too. Like I I, I think I've gotten a little bit better at like really hearing people rather than just than just like not even listening to what they're saying and being like no no <laughs> like no. Um, that's like super valid. The Queen Ten thing is amazing. Um, I I believe in I, I know that I have or I believe that I have seen synchronicity in this universe meaning and i think a lot of things have a lot of this weird significance the thing that comes to mind for me is is like um being in relationships with people and and let's say let's say i had a girlfriend that i that i broke up with right and i, and I learned all these things from her and then you know and then I, I i i change as a result of learning these things from her and then learning what went wrong and then I come to this point where all of a sudden I'm a different person and I need to learn the, uh, I need to learn this other thing. And then I get attracted to this person that I uh, have something to learn from them. It's, it's this, I, I probably explained it like shit, but I, I've seen these things happen in this universe a lot that seem to like be added up into this complex math puzzle that 
equals like synchronicity. Like there's something going on in this universe that I can't quite explain, but everything's kind of working hand in hand for for something, right? Yeah, that, 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 that's what I got. Like that, that's that's where I'm at with it. If I had to be, it was you like kind of stripped me down because like I, I feel like I had all these like sort of beliefs about certain things that I, I looking at it, it's like, nah, that's probably just your insane. You also like approach it as such a poker player. Um, your relationship, like I remember uh, years ago, Busto Su um, was, was on my left of this Bodog tournament. And in those days, the strategy was very easy. You just open and then fold to the three bet, and then you just keep opening. Um, and so I just kept with my strategy, and he must have three bet me like 12, 12 times in whatever amount of time. It was like insane. And I just folded yeah. every time because I didn't. I, re I remember when you guys were doing that. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't know how to adjust to it at all. Um, and then, and, and, and what I did was I like, I was like, oh shit, that's really hard to deal with. I think I'm going to start three betting a ton more because, and then also I remember like you've been saying nice things about me. So I had to think of one nice thing to say about you, um, which is the following story. Um, we were playing in a live tourney and you were just opening every hand. Okay. Normal. And then like, you like you opened, you got three, kind of the same thing. You opened, you got three. And then I was, and then there was like, there was like the small blind was all in for like one blind and I was big blind and you opened cut up and then everyone folded, but you had to show your hand because the small blind and you had queen three. And I was like, this motherfucker, he just doesn't give a fuck. This guy just keeps going. Berlin. And, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know, like, and, and, and I try to, I try to take, try to take from that what I could. Uh, Thank you. That was that's very that's very nice. I know what you're saying. I, I that's so weird. I remember that hand. I, I like I'm like remembering the queen three and something yeah. like I'm. I, it's so weird. I think it was at Harris Chester. If I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, make that. Yeah, that, that sounds that sounds about right. I don't remember specifically, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, I know. I think I think that's like I think that's a pretty interesting um, like topic too. It's like your ability to see something, see someone doing something well, and then utilizing that in your life. I think I'm like very good at that. I, I see people changing for the better. Uh, my, my one buddy, uh, Charlie, Charlie Hook, who, uh, very uh, brilliant guy. Um, but he, and he's a really good friend of mine. He, uh, he had a lot of issues. Uh, he had, he had, maybe it was like gambling problems or whatever. And it, it, he always struck me as someone that kind of could never get it together. You know, there was always this thing that, that kept him down or whatever. And then uh, more recently, I know that he's been on top of the poker world, um, winning a lot of money in different poker games. And I, I interacted with him recently in person. And I just like, I've never experienced change in a person as much as I have with, um, with child. Like I, I've never, my whole life, I've never experienced anyone change as much as him. So I was like, dude, like, like I'm pretty like good at like being like, I, I need, I need that. So like, dude, what the fuck did you do? What what changed you? And he's like, he's like, dude, I've been I've been working with Elliot uh, Elliot Rowe, the, the hypnotherapist guy. And I was like, holy fucking shit! And so I just like jumped in and, and dove into that. Um, I don't really even know where I was going with that, but I think it's I think it's interesting to be able to pick up on that. I think I think the best people are doing that. I think the best people are picking up on what other people are doing well. And I think it's kind of like almost like a lack of ego or something that's going on that that you're open minded to hearing someone else's um, you know what they've done well with and then applying.